double fist your wieners. Cheese floating. I don't really like the crust. You could do without the cheese. It's Velveeta. I think it's witchcraft. Welcome back to my car. This is episode 29 of Is It <laughs> Today we're going on a road trip. It's 24 minutes away. Saddle up. Buckle up. We're going to the Sonic. So it ended up being a 45 minute trip. While I was at the gas station, I met a lady named Jewel. Who else? Not that one. This jewel had a mullet. She said she was a realtor and I believed her because so am I in Monopoly. If you've never been to the Sonic before, it's this really fine dining establishment where you park your car in the parking lot and you push the red. Well, damn. Well, there's supposed to be a red button there. Ours is missing. So we're gonna have to move slots, but normally you press that button and place your order. And then the car hop brings you your food. Fingers crossed they're wearing skates. Some of them will roller skate. It's got the button. They've got everything. Combinations, snacks, breakfast, a frozen zone. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Cheesecake monster shake. There's the button and then drinks. I'm gonna write down what I want to eat because I have this thing called food ordering anxiety. That's where I'm afraid I'm gonna forget what I want to eat if they ask me what I want to eat. Hot damn, they have foot long hot dogs. My neighbor loves hot wieners. Definitely getting that for her. I think you sign, I got to apologize at the moment. We are currently closed. Oh, okay, what time do you open? Um, we're doing a health inspection right now. Just drove 20 minutes to get here. The devil is working. But on a positive, I did dodge food poisoning. This Sonic actually looks a lot nicer. Take a look. And it was only 20 minutes away from the original. And I'm pretty sure we passed Rick Ross's house. Was that his house? Way too big. In the 0% chance, Rick Ross, if you're watching that and that's your house, I can come sweep your floors. Or hell, I can mow the lawn. You should see me on a zero turn. I have a passion for lawn mowing. The menu's the same and they actually have the red button. I'm not eating meat right now, ladies. But I am eating those cheddar peppers. Welcome to Santa. We're doing drive through only at the moment. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, so this one, they're only doing drive through Shit. Y'all need me to get back there in the kitchen and help or what? I can, I used to work at the Chili's. Also, I worked at the Pizza Inn. Good thing I have a list so I don't get all anxiety ridden. What would Rick Ross order from the Sonic? Oh damn, you see that right there? You see that? That's a funnel cake store. We should have went there. May I have a small root beer float, pretzel twist, Dr. Pepper with cherry, lime, and vanilla, cheese tot, cheddar peppers, grilled cheese. Don't forget to tip your favorite bartender. There was a twisted tea over there. Whew. We're gonna miss the whole car hop experience because they're not, they're not doing that. I really wanted to show you that though so you could experience it with me, but maybe next time. Let's get to this food review. I am lactose intolerant. Here's the root beer float. I paid for a small and I got a large. Ooh, look at that ice cream. Do you hear that? The heavenly harps. That is so good it's sinful. Cause there's a ratio to the root beer float. It's a lot of ice cream and a little bit of root beer. They got it right. Nailed it. 10 out of 10. And I think they use that barges, bargers, bruges, root beer. I think they use the real deal. From the vegetarian menu, we have the grilled cheese sandwich. Wow, whoa, whoa. We've got that cowboy bread, Texas toast. That is good. They put a lot of butter on the bread and it's perfect. Oh man, I forgot to get the onion rings. It's pretty greasy. Sonic really is just fair food. They used to have funnel cake fries. When we would go, we don't have one where I live, but anytime we go to Tennessee, I'm from this little town, little town called Smithville, Tennessee. You ever been there? They've got a Dollar General and they have a Sonic. This is our pretzel stick, pretzel braid. It comes with this signature cheese sauce, soybean oil, cheese sauce ASMR, are you ready? Beautiful. Looks like a Dairy Queen special. You know how they do that? They tip the blizzard over, and if the blizzard falls on the floor, you get another free blizzard. My Dairy Queen quit doing that. You know why? Because they said C19. So you can hand me the ice cream, but you can't bend your wrist, flick of the wrist at a 45 degree angle because you might contract C19 that way. Okay. What I think it is, is they kept dropping blizzards on the ground and they were giving away too much free blizzard. Blizzards. So they blame it on the pandemic. Oh, wow. You gotta get one of these. I was expecting a very hard pretzel, like the ones you get at the 7-Eleven. It's been out all day roasting in that little thing that goes in circles over and over and over again. This is soft. Is this MTO made to order? Um. Okay, this is a 10. Where's the straw? I don't know, but look at this. I found this bowling ball the other day at the Goodwill. It fits me like a glove. Somebody take a picture. 
I keep it in my car just in case I pass a bowling alley. I'm gonna stop. The man at the bowling alley that I go to, he said I'm getting good enough to join the Monday morning league. He did say it was the Senior Citizen League, the Silver Foxes, so I'm considering. I'm bowling a 116 right now on average, which is really not that great. But the amount of fun I'm having, I've got bowling in my body. The passion for bowling. It's kind of a redneck thing to do, you know, bowling. Write this down because you're gonna wanna remember this. You all right? This, oh my, there's real fruit in here. Hot damn, there's, what is that? That's a lime. Whoa, that's a lime right there. I washed my hands, uh, well, I washed them about an hour ago. This is a Dr. Pepper with cherry vanilla lime. They got it right. They got it right. Where is the Sonic? Let's write it down. Let's write a review. I've never wrote a review before because I feel like only people with negative opinions write reviews. So I guess I could write a positive review. You know what, let's review this Sonic. This Sonic is good, where are we? The Rick Ross Sonic, go there, would recommend. Also the lady was super nice. A little heavy handed on the syrup, but I kinda like that. I kinda like it to taste like that snow cone syrup flavor. Also, according to my research, you can get 1.3 million different flavor combinations. That's a lot. That is perfection in a styrofoam, styrofoam cup. Also, I love the ice, the Sonic ice. Can you see this? They have that pellet ice. I don't like ice, but that ice, I do enjoy that. These are the cheddar peppers. If memory serves, it is a jalapeno pepper. Oh, more Velveeta. Thought it was cream cheese. Deep fried. That's not as good as I remember it being. I'm still gonna eat it. You're supposed to eat them with ranch. They didn't give me any ranch, but they gave me a peppermint. Woo, that's a little spicy too. If you can't handle the heat, get out of the kitchen. You don't have to tell me twice. I don't wanna be there anyway. These are the signature cheese tots. Gorgeous, beautiful. You can get chili on these. Damn, you'd be in the bathroom though. I don't know about chili. Fried food with chili on top. Better make sure you're working from home that day. Oh, that's good. They use the same kind of cheese though for everything, this Velveeta plasticky. Or what's the cheese that's in the plastic wrapper where it's not cheese so they can't call it cheese so they call it a cheese spread? That's what this cheese is. I wish they would use Kobe Jack. Something for my antiquated taste buds. You know, growing up, we used to eat cheese sandwiches. We would take that plastic shit. Why is my stomach making that noise? I'm gonna have to stop at Rick Ross's house and use the bathroom. <laughs> What was I saying? Oh, we would eat that cheese spread stuff on sandwiches. We would put butter on the bread, white bread, cheese folded in half. If you were feeling sassy, you'd put some salt and pepper on it. Ugh. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We'd have that. What else would we have? You know, I'm embarrassed. Do not put this in this video. When I was little too, I would eat sticks of butter. I don't know what kind of vitamin deficiency that is that would cause me to eat sticks of butter. Uh, I finally quit doing it when my sister noticed that there were teeth marks in the butter. And she looked at me and I looked at her and she said, are you eating the butter? And I lied and said, no, you're eating the butter. Reverse psychology. Are you sure you're not eating it? That was enough to make me quit eating the butter. Okay, also I got two corn dogs. They were out of the foot long dogs, but I figured my neighbor could do this, put them together and it's a foot long with two sticks so she can double fist the dogs. Oh, they gave me two mints. They must have thought this food was for two people. No, this is for me, I can eat now. I've always wanted to do a food eating contest because I can eat a lot, okay? I can eat a lot and the cool thing, shit, my cheddar peppers. The cool thing about me is that I can also eat anything, absolutely anything, the grossest of the gross with zero side effects. I can get up, run three miles. I mean, I can't run, but I can think about running three miles. I can get up and just do whatever. I won't be stuck in the bathroom. I won't be vomiting. It just works for me. It's a hidden talent and it's really kind of a sick trick because it's one that I cannot montanize. Is it montanize? Montanization. How can I get paid to eat weird but I quit doing that because my body, you know, I gotta take care of my bodies. I'm on the vegetarian diet. I'm not doing vegan. I don't really wanna be part of a cult right now. Excuse me, you know what I've been eating? I've been eating a lot of Indian food. There's this Indian place called, what is it called? India Star or something. They can cook. The other day they had goat head on the buffet. There were some men over there fighting over who was gonna eat the eyeballs. Not it. Oh look, we got a neighbor in a Kia Sorento. Damn, one of my neighbors came out last night. 
because honestly, the reason that we're doing this video in the car is because my nice neighbor is getting her house, what's the word, remodeled. They're taking off all the siding and re-putting back that fluffy stuff, that asbestos stuff, and putting new beadboard, hardy board, plank board on the outside. And it's really loud over there. Plus I was hungry. But anyway, my other neighbor came out last night, raising hell. Take your little ass back inside. It's not St. Patrick's Day yet. Oh, I think my favorite thing is the root beer float. Oh no, it's leaking. The hell? Oh, did I tell y'all I got a new sister? Got a new sister. Okay, listen to this. Listen to this. I'm on one of those DNA websites, which I know it's controversial to give your DNA to the government. Says the people that know their family, whatever. I haven't logged on in about a year and I was thinking about my stepdad who died on Halloween. Well, he wasn't really my, it's complicated. Anyway, his death bursary or whatever you wanna call that is coming up. And I was thinking about my real dad. So anyway, long story short, I log on the website and it pops up. You have a new sister. She actually looks like me. So I spent about a week thinking about what I was gonna say to her to contact her. I ended up typing out something that sounded like this. Hi, I see we are sisters, send. And she didn't respond. Her loss, right? Anyway, anyway, anyway. That was good. I'd give this Rick Ross Sonic. This is a solid nine. Not something you could eat every day, but it's definitely worth the drive. To end this very fine program at this very fine establishment, we're gonna wrap it up with the words of wisdom. Today, we're gonna go for a little bit of indulgence is the theme of this week. Treat yourself in whatever way that means for you. For me today, it's food. For you, it could be getting your nails done or it could be going to the park and taking a walk or turning off your phone. You know, that can be a treat. That can sure as hell be a treat. I'll do that. I'll put that email on vacation mode. I haven't even been on vacation. So today, go out and treat yourself. Go to the Sonic, make yourself a cup of tea. Let me tell you what I've been drinking. Look at this. This one is called Traditionals. Is that the brand? It's throat coat and it's been helping because it's that time of year where it's super cold in the morning, super hot at two and super cold at night. I have a sore throat and it's been helping with that. So thanks again for joining me here for this road trip. Was it a road trip? Yeah, thank you for joining me here for this road trip. Next week, I'm gonna see you for a spirit Halloween haul. Cause look, I already got some stuff. We've got the cowgirl, cowgirl hat. This is awesome, check this out. See those rhinestones? Statues, figurines, blow up dolls. I like corn and country music. Sounding like the meth head Michael and Cher collab. Shame, shame. You can just tell when people don't have dads. I got a new sister. You gotta have 20 in there just to buy a house. Tell me that shit again. Buffalo chicken dip bites. They were doing this! This is a cream shell cameo. Whatever. Bitch, you didn't even go to the funeral. Can we move on? The Rick Ross Sonic? Hot dog. The Velveeta. Whew, this place is gorgeous.